Hey guys, I'm Mezzi and welcome to my guide for 10 man heroic Kudmalk Rock. This is the ninth encounter in Heroic Siege of Orgrimmar. I'm going to assume that you know the normal mode mechanics. If you don't, you can check out my normal mode guide. You can click on the link in the annotation or in the description section below. This is the first heroic encounter that you'll feel is a lot more worthy of the heroic difficulty. A single mistake might be survivable, but having two in a row will probably wipe you. When you first get up to this encounter, the enrage timer will be one to fight for. So for this fight you'll want to use 2 tanks, 2 healers and 6 DPS, with 1 or 2 melee and the rest ranged. First off, the tanks will still have to deal with the damage increase debuff and switch at about 15 stacks. Furthermore, Malkrook will still do his 3 smashes, 3 sets of energies and after that the breath of air surge on the spots of the smashes, resulting in instant death if you stand in it, and for the healers you will still have to deal with the Ancient Miasma in Phase 1, converting all healing done to a shield until a maximum of 100% of a player's health. Or more easily put, he will still do everything he does on normal mode. So let's get down to what this is really about, the heroic changes. The difference in difficulty in this encounter comes in the form of Essence of Air Sage, which spawns two orbs every three seconds in the room. A black bubbling animation will indicate where they will spawn, so if you see them under your feet, move away. If you walk through one or it spawns on you and you don't move, it will remove your shield and deal 150k damage to you. This means that the healers will have to re heal your shield and you'll have 150k less health of a buffer should you get hit by something else. So the main goal of phase 1 is to of course deal damage to the boss and dealing with all the normal mode mechanics, but also avoiding these orbs. You can clear some of them up by using an immunity and running through as many orbs until your immunity ends. Cloak of Shadows and Deterrence are great for it for example. Now although it won't do damage, it will still remove your shield, so be aware of that. Now due to the sheer amount of orbs that will spawn, getting to all the energies in time with your way possibly blocked by the orbs, your chance to wipe to not getting an energy is quite big when you're still getting used to the orbs. So please communicate with the rest of your team so that you can avoid a lot of wipes. Another change in phase 1 is that when Malkrok slams someone into the air, an ad will spawn which slows anyone who is near it by a lot. The tanks will need to taunt it and it will need to be cleaved down. Should it not go fast enough by just cleaves, have your DPS switch to it to actively kill it. Phase 1 lasts 2 minutes as usual and phase 2 still lasts 20 seconds. You will want to use phase 2 to clear up the orbs so that you have enough space to use for the second phase 1. As there are no shields here, you can be healed up when you run through the orbs. However, using cooldowns to go through them is still highly advised, and using speed boosts like sprint and engineering boots to get through more is also advised. It will be phase 1 again before you know it. In phase 2, the displaced energy debuffs will also root you now, meaning you will not be able to all group up in front of Malkrok to deal with his cleaves. Instead, just the two tanks will have to deal with it, meaning that they'll have to use all their cooldowns for this, and using external cooldowns will also be very useful. Now, if you have a Brewmaster tank like we do, then they'll be able to solo tank the cleaves. Of course, external cooldowns for this will be required. However, this does free up the second tank to also use cooldowns and clear up the orbs around you. After 20 seconds, phase 2 ends and it's rinse and repeat from here on out. A few things to keep in mind. You can and should use health stones to buff up your shield if it's low and you're not on full health. If your shield isn't green, you might want to use a personal damage reduction cooldown to not completely lose your shield when you're soaking an imploding energy. Lastly, keep spread out so that every energy can be reached, and if you can't, call it out quickly so that someone else can try and get it. This is the point where heroics get more difficult, so good luck. If you liked this video, please comment and subscribe. If you would like to keep up when new videos come out, but you don't have a YouTube account, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter at facebook.com slash bbmezzy or twitter.com slash bbmezzy. For now, I'm Mezzy, and I'll see you again next time. And I'll see you